Good evening, everybody. Okay. Good evening. Welcome to our June 21st, 2022 regular scheduled Board of Commissioners meeting. I'll call to order. I've asked tonight Commissioner Haynes to lead us in our invocation and Commissioner Watson to lead us in our Pledge of Allegiance. Will you please stand? Let us pray. Uh, gracious God, we thank you for this day. Father God, we thank you for your grace and your mercy, Father God. Uh, Father God, we thank you for life, health, and strength today. Father God, we thank you for um, allowing us all to get here safely, God. Uh, as, now, as we go into this meeting, Father God, we pray that everything we do is for the betterment of this community and for your glory, gracious God. We pray for those who are dealing with um, death, who are dealing with sickness, who are dealing with any other thing that are going on in this world, Father God. Continue to pray for us. Continue to pray for all of the leaders, and especially for all the town employees, Father God, that uh, keep them safe and keep them healthy so they can continue to do provide great service to this town, Father God. Uh, Grace God, we love you and we give you all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you. All right, everyone stand if you are able and face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all. Next up is our meeting protocol instructions. I ask that Town Manager Mitchell review the meeting protocol for public participation. Thank you. Uh, tonight's meeting is both in person and virtual. Tonight's meeting contains a public comment period. However, there are no scheduled public hearings this evening. Due to the hybrid nature of the meeting, the public will be invited to comment both in person and via the Zoom virtual meeting platform. When it is the appropriate time, Mayor Massengill will first call on those wishing to address the town board that are attending in person, followed those by those wishing to address the town board via the Zoom platform. All attendees that have appeared in person to address the town board during the public comment period should provide your name and address on the registration sheet by the podium prior to the public comment period beginning. All attendees that have joined the meeting virtually have joined muted. If those joining virtually wish to address the town board during the public comment period, they will need to notify the town host that they wish to speak. For the public's benefit that may be joining the meeting via the Zoom platform this evening, please press the raise hand button in the Zoom application to notify the town host that you wish to address the board. Please press star nine to raise your hand if you're joining by telephone. After an individual has raised their hand, they will enter into a queue. When the time for public comment or a public hearing, again, not this evening, uh, begins, Mayor Massengill will ask the town host to recognize individuals that have notified the town host that they wish to speak by calling out their name or the last four digits of their telephone number. Individuals will be unmuted one at a time and invited to address the board. We ask all those wishing to address the town board to begin their comments by clearly stating their name and address for the public record. The public is asked to keep all comments to three minutes so that all that wish to speak can be heard in a timely manner. And this concludes the protocol for tonight's meeting, Mayor. Thank you, Manager. First item of business we have are the approval of the minutes from the June 6th, 2022 regular scheduled town board meeting. Uh, any corrections or additions or motions by the board? Mr. Mayor, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of the June 6, 2022 Town Board of Commissioners regular scheduled meeting as presented and recommended. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Next item on our agenda is public comment period. At this time, the town clerk will first call on individuals that are in attendance and have registered to address the town board prior to the meeting. Following those who are in attendance, the IT director will call on individuals that have virtually raised their hand via the Zoom app. The public comment period is a time for the public to address the town board about any matter that is not the subject of a scheduled public hearing. Those speaking are asked to begin by clearly saying your name and address for the public record. Please limit your comments to three minutes in order that all who wish to speak may be heard in a timely manner. Bruce, do you have anybody signed up? Yeah. Scott, <laughs> IT director, do you have anybody signed up? No, sir. Okay, thank you. Item 6A, there are no items tabled from previous meetings. Item 7A, there are no public hearings for tonight. Item eight, consent agenda. What is the board's pleasure 
on the items on the consent agenda. Mr. Mayor, I'll make a motion to approve all items on the consent agenda, items 8A, 8B, 8C, and 8D as presented and recommended. We have a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second. Motion second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. <clears throat> Next item on our agenda, administrative reports. Municipal Fire Protection Agreement, Town of Fuqua, Verena, and Wake County three-year agreement. More information about this agenda item will be presented by Town Manager Mitchell, Fire Chief. It's okay. gonna be me this evening, uh, Mayor and Board Members. Unfortunately, our Chief is a little under the weather and not able to join us this evening. So I'm gonna take this agenda item. The purpose of this agenda item is to consider approval of a three-year Municipal Fire Protection Agreement between the Town of Fuqua, Verena, and Wake County. The current Municipal Fire Protection Agreement between the Town and Wake County is due for renewal on July 1st of this year. Municipal departments in Wake County each have similar agreements with Wake County, which are also in need of renewal, so this is not unique to us. Municipal managers, fire chiefs, and Wake County Fire Services have been working on a multiple year agreement over the last two years. The proposed three year Municipal Fire Protection Agreement builds on the framework of previous Municipal Fire Protection Agreements while pro improving on the language in previous agreements by defining several uh, areas. First, criteria and methodology for cost sharing in equipment operations and personnel, and this is something that we've been very, very close to as we uh, do provide for a very large service area in our f fire district, and uh, both our fire chief and our assistant manager, uh, Mark Matthews, who has previously served on the fire commission, have been involved in these discussions on uh, methodology and terms for the uh, this section of the agreement uh, second the basis for considering new budget and or personnel expansions again always important to us on an annual basis for discussion performance standards operational responsibilities uh, what our responsibility is in the fire service district and what is expected of us and legal and financial responsibilities between both the town and wake county Accompanying uh, and cross-referenced by the Fire Protection Agreement are an automatic aid agreement, a mutual aid agreement, FEMA disaster and debris removal agreement, and a business associate agreement. Each of these documents facilitate the efficient and effective delivery of fire protection and medical first responder services in the Fuqua Verena Fire Department service area, including in the unincorporated fire tax district. Town of Fuqua Verena and Wake County management, along with the respective fire chiefs, are recommending this three-year municipal fire protection agreement. Management and the fire department staff have worked with the Wake County Fire Services staff to update this protection agreement and recommend the approval of the new three-year agreement and the companion agreements that are incorporated in this agenda item. The three-year municipal fire protection agreement is consistent with the cost share methodology used to identify the towns and the counties respective financial responsibilities in the fiscal year 23 operating budget and five-year plan. The recommendation to the town board this evening is by motion to approve the three-year municipal fire protection agreement, the automatic aid agreement, the mutual aid agreement, the FEMA disaster services agreement, and the business associate agreement between the town of Fuqua Verena and Wake County as recommended and presented, subject to town attorney review as to form. I would say that as customary, since this is a three-year agreement, one of the things that you should expect to look for over the next three years annually with the budget process is amendments to these agreements that would reflect what the town's expected revenue would be from the uh, fire services protection in our area. I'm happy to answer any questions that the board might have. You know, um, our, our team has worked real hard with Wake County to be able to get as much money as possible for Fuqua Verena in regards to the call share on that. And um, I think it's department that work, the two departments work very well together at the same time. And the, um, this, agree this agreement is, um, is what you continue, what you foresee to continue seeing in the future too, this type of stuff, isn't that correct? I do, and I think you know one of the things, again, we'll see amendments to the financial piece of it on an annual basis, but we'll also potentially see an amendment um, to the fire service district itself for Fuqua Verena once Fire Station 4 comes online. But these are customary. The town has been involved in these agreements with Wake County on typically three-year basis. 
bases for decades. So this is not an unusual agreement to bring before the town board every, every several years. Board members, you have any questions or comment, comments? Uh, just one quick question. Yes, sir. In the case of a disaster, the, the protocol, will Wake County uh, come to Fuquay? Or I know we have a command center some, somewhere. How does this agreement relate to what happens as far as protocol when there is a disaster? Like a natural disaster or yeah. even something as complicated as like a, a chemical disaster, yes, for example? Yes, something, something like that. Sure. So in the event that we would um, you know, need additional support, Wake County themselves is not necessarily a fire department, but we have automatic aid and mutual aid agreements with the other fire departments. So in the event that we needed assistance because of a disaster, these agreements would kick in and we would receive that assistance as a part of a part of these agreements. In addition to that, we do have some ancillary agreements, for example, with the city of Raleigh, for example, uh, when it comes to uh, things like chemical. Like uh, hazmat, issue. something like hazmat, that. Hazmat, exactly. Yes, sir. So all of that is built into the automatic aid and mutual aid agreements. Okay. Okay. Yes, Th sir. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I have no further questions. Thanks, and, sir. And specifically for that, there's a hazmat agreement through uh, Wake County Fire Services that is, is funded and is contracted with Wake County Fire Department. So they have an, a responsibility to respond to a hazmat emergency on behalf of the partner departments. Mm -hmm. So they would provide support, but they would. our fire they, department would take the lead? That's right, they yes, would take ev the command. Ev every fire department is equipped with a certain level of hazmat response capability, but this is more for the above and beyond specialized services, the, uh, you know, the, the the apex fire, for example, from several years ago. Okay, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, any further questions? If not, entertain a motion. Mayor Madison Gill, I move that we approve the three year municipal fire protection agreement, automatic aid agreement, mutual aid agreement, FEMA disaster services agreement, and business associate agreement between the town of Fuqua Varina and Wake County as recommended and presented subject to town attorney review as to form. Thank you, Marilyn. We have a motion, do we have a second? I'll second it, Mayor. Motion and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries, thank you. Next item of business tonight is other business. Item 11A, manager's report. Thank you, Mayor. A few things just to brief the board on this evening. Um, not a great deal since our last board meeting and it also our last board meeting included uh, information on the project status report. So hopefully you've had an opportunity to familiarize yourself with that. Some of you may have heard and we're still sort of in the investigative um, uh, field of, of learning how we can best uh, utilize these funds. But the town of Fuqua Varina and the town of Wake Forest um, have been notified that we are party to a $500,000 Brownfields grant through the Triangle J uh, Council of Government that would be used to help us potentially identify property and remediate Brownfield property for redevelopment. And so we're working with the Triangle Cog administrative staff uh, to best understand how we can best utilize these resources with this program. But it's good news. It's an opportunity for us, we believe, and we're still getting more information about it. Uh, about how best we can apply it, but I did want to make the town board aware that, that that seems to be advancing a goal of looking at environmentally sensitive properties perhaps and looking at how we can put them back into productive use again. Um, our Arts Center received a $5,000 United Arts Council grant. Uh, those funds will go specifically towards bringing two performers to uh, the Fuqua Verena Arts Center. One is Mike Wiley, and I earlier saw Maureen here, but maybe she's stepped since stepped out. Mike Wiley is an actor and a playwright, and he's uh, best known for uh, a one-man play that he has performed uh, titled The Lynching of Emmett Till. So a very uh, historical uh, performance. And in addition to Mike Wiley, uh, Joshua Lozoff, a magician and illusionist, will be coming to the Fuqua Verena Arts Center um, in the fall. And those funds from the United Arts Council will be used for those performances. Additionally, I want to report that uh, we were fortunate to be able to secure two scholarships uh, from the Raleigh Arts and United Arts Council for uh, Jennifer Rankin uh, in our Arts uh, Art Center department and Tammy Davis with the Arts Center to attend 
the Leadership Exchange in Arts and Disabilities Conference. Uh, this will be in August in Raleigh, and it will help advance our goal of, of uh, making sure that we're on the uh, up to speed on the latest offerings for sp the special needs population. So uh, we're excited about Jennifer and Tammy being able to represent the town at this conference. Our finance department is moving forward from budget to audit. It's funny how those cyclical things happen, but just as soon as we get done with the budget, we're jumping right back into the audit season. And our finance department is assisting uh, with the, the financing process of fire station number four, so staying fairly busy. Uh, Holly Adams uh, was hired by the town, and she uh, started on Monday as our new senior program support specialist at the Public Service Center. So if you get an opportunity to go down there, say hello to Holly and welcome her to the town. Um, with respect to our Parks, Recreation, and Cultural Resources Department, uh, final plans uh, are being put in place for the July 1st Independence Day celebration, uh, as well as the annual ice cream social. So two great events coming up here this summer that we're can, looking forward to. Yes, ma'am. Can you speak to the change of the date? I've been asked a couple of times sure. why the date has changed, and yeah. I didn't have a, a, a clear answer to give. Yeah, so um, COVID, as, as you've oftentimes have heard, has um, affected many small businesses. Our uh, particular vendor for uh, our fireworks show that we've used for the last eight to ten years, uh, they too have been affected by... Uh, by the pandemic, both from the standpoint of uh, being able to staff people as well as uh, just generally the work related to their field. They contacted us uh, this year, letting us know that they would not be able to provide that service to us on July 3rd um, due to staffing shortages. However, they could provide it to us on July 1st to try to maintain our date of July 3rd that we've customarily been able to offer we did check with other pyrotechnic firework companies there's a lot that goes involved in this this is not uh, I, I asked the question can we just go out there and shoot off some fireworks ourselves the answer was <laughs> real quickly no we can't do that we got to get a licensed uh, Molden, company probably. to help do that for us <laughs> Don't like that. And, <laughs> and so um, that. we did explore other companies that provide this service uh, the quotes that we received were phenomenally more substantial than um, the quote and the price that we are under contract for with our current provider. So it was an exponential increase in payment and tens of thousands of dollars exponential or keep our current vendor and move the date. And so we, we made that choice to be able to, to do that. Now the nice thing about it is it is on the front end of the weekend. It's on Friday, right? July 1st. And so if people want to try to make the, the show, but also perhaps get out of town like may, may customarily do. Maybe they can hit both this year where in previous years we've lost potentially some um, attendance at the event because of how close it was to the actual July 4th date. So uh, looking forward to a positive event, but that is the reason why. We Perfect, thank challenges. you very much for explaining that. I appreciate yes, that. Okay, so uh, Ice Cream Social and Independence Day and our Fall Youth Athletic Registration is uh, open right now i think it stays open until june 25th or 26th uh 25th i believe is the date and we're already seeing some record uh, registrations already here just in the early part so we we anticipate it's going to be another busy one troy king uh, with our public utilities department passed his grade four biological operator certification this is the highest level of certification Zach Hall passed his sea water distribution certification as well as Kyle Price and uh, Patrick Walsh passed his B water distribution certification. We hope to have these four gentlemen come to a future yeah, board meeting great. so that they can be recognized by the board, but we're very proud of their, their efforts. They studied hard, they received some help and guidance from other members of our utilities department, and they, they all passed their exams. And this adds value to our organization as we continue to provide excellent service to our, to our customers. Um, with that, in addition, uh, I would just point out to you in your agenda materials, again, just some reminders about dates, the Independence Day celebration, July 1st, gates open at 6 p.m., the July town board meeting, we only have one meeting in the month of July, as is customary, this will be on Monday, July 11th, 7 p.m., there is no meeting on July 4th, and there will no be no second meeting of the month on July 19th. July 11th is the only meeting to 
Uh, make sure you, you notate on your calendars related to the town board. Coffee with a Cop will be at the uh, ever popular Starbucks at 1830 or 1389 North Main Street. This will be on July 5th from 9 to 1030 a.m. Again, the Ice Cream Social at the Fuquay Mineral Spring Park, July 17th, 4 to 6 p.m. And we'll keep our fingers crossed for some good weather for that event. And then you do have a first reading in your agenda materials. The zoning map amendment submitted by the Curry Engineering Group. This is for 400 Southwest Judd Parkway. This is rezoning petition 2022-04, and it was uh, recommended uh, by the planning board at their meeting last night. So it'll come before you uh, at the July 11th meeting, I'm fairly certain. And with that, Mr. Mayor, I have no additional uh, comments or remarks to report on this evening. I'm happy to answer any questions that the board might have. Thank you, Mr. Manager, for that report right there. We've got a, um, we do have a closed session later tonight that has some items on there. I know things probably look like they're moving very fast, but we do have other bits of business that will come after uh, town board member comments. Commissioner Gardner, any comments for us? Well, it's been a busy season, as it is usually this time of year with graduations, and we congratulate all of our graduates in the area for this achievement in their lives. It's a big deal for a high school senior, so we're, uh, we will watch with interest as they move into the next chapter of their lives. Um, we had a really good Coffee with a Cop this month. Mm -hmm. It was well attended at um, Meridian and um, look forward to this one coming up and to that that ice cream social is one of my favorite things on our calendar every year it's one of the things that um, helps us feel like a great small town even though we're pushing 40,000 so we need to hang on to these things that celebrate the community the sense of community that we enjoy here and that we want to keep around so i hope everybody will be able to come that's all you know there's, there's events like right maryland so many people have enjoyed them and i know hopefully most of the board or all the board will be able to attend that um and dental depot was very successful yes yeah, a lot of fun it was the best one ever i think and we were very grateful to the town for at the last minute offering a place a, a venue that we could move to when we were expecting rain and got it at three o'clock that afternoon mm -hmm. when, when things have to be set up for that evening. But it was a really fun evening and the, I think probably the most successful auction we've ever had for the on plain air paintings. Um, the, the painting that was uh, voted the best of the on plain air paintings by the jury as well as by the, it, was, it got the, the public put their um, vote in there too and it won people's choice also was painted by one of our employees at the Arts Center and she was really excited. Um, it, it went, it, it, I think it was the most we've ever had for one single piece of art in the auction. Jasmine dropped by here earlier tonight and she's going to be coming to our next meeting for a uh, fringe and item then. Good. I'll like remind good. her about her, her good artwork. That's right. Good it was time. a great evening. I, uh, you just need to be make sure next year that you're a friend so you get the notice about your tickets. And I think the tickets are going to be even more a premium next year. So. And had all, all the board attended too, so thank you, everybody. Yes, thank attending. you. And we had the, the Will, was she from Willow Springs High School? The, the painter? Student. That, yeah, yeah, the student right. that painted during the, the dinner. And she did really good. She, she did, did a really good job. job. She mm -hmm. did. It was such a nice evening. There's a lot of pressure right there to, <laughs> to have all of us watching. For watching <laughs> that's, that's right. That's exactly right. Thank you, Commissioner Gardner. Commissioner Harris. Uh, I, too, en enjoyed the uh, dinner on Depot Street. That's always a nice occasion. And uh, I told uh, Don the flexibility and the creativity to have it, uh, um, you know, amid the, the threat of uh, bad weather and bring it here at the, at the town hall was, was just a great idea. And it really was a, a great atmosphere once Beautiful. everything was set up. I thought that it was, it was excellent. Um, to, to you as my uh, fellow board members, I just want to thank you for taking time to participate in the uh, tribute and appreciation they, they gave to me at the Juneteenth celebration. 
I really appreciate uh, your taking time to, to do that, and it's a pleasure to serve with you. I wanted to, to make that comment. You know, when I was uh, appointed uh, to the board in eight, um, 1987, <laughs> don't show your age, Bill, come on, man. <laughs> Sometimes that's what it feels like. <laughs> when I was appointed to the board in, in 1987, I, I had no idea what I was getting into. I was asked if I wanted to uh, serve on the town board and being civic minded, I said sure. And I had no idea that I would be here today uh, serving after, you know, I, I did add up the years and the total years, it's actually 34 years, uh, there, there was only one month, a couple of months when I, uh, in 2009, I lost the election, but I was reappointed again. I lost the election in, in uh, that December, but w was appointed again by the board in that January. So it's really, it's been a total of roughly 34 years and 10 months that I've, I've been here. And it has really been a pleasure. When I, when I think about, I was raised uh, less than a football field from here uh, back in the 50s. And of course, during that time, it was a segregated society. and. Uh, there was a limit to even uh, being here in this, this particular area and to see the transformation of this community, to uh, be a part of that transformation, how we have changed, how Fuquay Varina has changed uh, its image from a small town uh, to here in Wake County being recognized for the growth as well as throughout the state being innovative. I think that uh, for me that has that has and is a very exciting uh, time. So I just wanted to say I'm, I feel privileged and grateful to be part of, of such a journey. And again, I'm, I'm endeared to each of you for participating and for being part of what was indeed a surprise. I had no idea that uh, that would happen. Uh, my daughter told me, she said, uh, she said, Dad, I'm, I'm so tired of lying to you. Because <laughs> she, she, knows, she knows how I am. I was asking all these questions about, well, what's going on? Why is this? And, and uh, she said, after everything was over, she said, now I can, I can rest because she was participating in this along with a lot of other people I actually did not know. But again, I, I really want to thank each of you, and I really appreciate it so much. Thank you. Bill is, a, is an honor well deserved, and uh, I can't tell you how many times I would talk to individuals and it almost slip out, oh, yep, and I'd be quiet real quick asking them to come <laughs> to or say something to them about that, so congratulations, though. Thank you fun. so much. And I can't believe the board kept quiet. I can't um, either. I was telling you, too. I missed this. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, all congratulations. You're welcome. Thank you. Commissioner Haynes? Sure. Let's see. It's been busy, as always. Um, I definitely enjoyed, um, I attended um, um, the First Baptist uh, Fuqua Verena pastoral anniversary, his 14th pastoral anniversary, uh, I want to say two weeks ago, two Sundays ago, uh, Pastor Reginald Lowry, um, they had their pastoral anniversary, which uh, was a very good celebration for him. Um, also, that same day, I also was able to attend and speak at um, the Piney Grove Baptist Church's Vacation Bible School, which was an amazing event. Uh, um, and they actually collected um, canned goods and um, non perishable food for Pontiac Community Center, and they did a competition between the men and the women. Um, and when the numbers finally hit, um, the men won. So um, the youth director, um, the female youth director, had to eat a, uh, a cricket. Um, so last year, the year before, they had to uh, kiss a pig, and the pastor had to kiss a pig. But this year, she had to eat a cricket, but they collected uh, when the totals finally hit in like a week and a half, almost two weeks, they collected over 8,500 uh, non-perishable food items. So that was just amazing. And then they had a whole event outside with uh, water slides and, and hot dogs and a taco truck and ice cream truck. So it was a good day there. I enjoyed that. Uh, again, like everybody said, Dinner on Depot was uh, awesome. Um, even got in the photo booth with Chief Medina and um, 
in our downtown development. We want to celebrate her for having a great night. So me and Chief jumped in with the photo booth and took some photos with her at the end of the night. So that was a good time. Uh, again, we celebrate all our graduates, especially, you know, definitely all the volunteers who help with different things that I do going on in the community. Um, the growers market has continued to be uh, amazing because there's so many um, vendors who come every or every other week who are not from this area who want to move and move their businesses to this area. So, um, you know, it's amazing just to hear them like, look, if you can find me some space, I'll move. So it's amazing to hear those uh, vendors come in and seeing the potential and seeing the um, the love and, and, and the support in town of Fico Arena for them to want to move here and move their businesses here. Um, and lastly, uh, uh, Manifest was a, a great event, um, definitely. Uh, <laughs> I made sure I didn't call Commissioner Harris on purpose because I didn't want to slip up and say anything. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, um, it, it, was, it was definitely well attended. It was, um, you know, he definitely deserved all the uh, accolades that he got that evening. It was, I think it was just well put together. So hats off to that committee for just doing a great job, um, just – you know, for for recognizing one fathers, you know that it was being on Father's Day and recognizing all the fathers, um, and just uh, and just um, you know expanding people's education on different uh, you know on the diversity in our town of Fuqua Arena. So I think I uh, think it was a great event. They're already excited and ready to move on to next year. Uh, so we're excited about it as well. Thank you, Brian. Commissioner Haynes, but. Brian is good. <laughs> <laughs> Commissioner Watson, any comments? Uh, yes. So I attended um, last week the the ribbon cutting. I was I love attending the ribbon cuttings, uh, especially for our small businesses in town. We get to meet the owner and welcome them to town and um, kind of introduce them uh, to, to to us. So we attended Bolt Drinks and Coffee. It's uh, over next door to where the Kimmy's Carpets is and the Verena side. So. Um, if you need some extra caffeine, uh, I can't remember what I tried, the triple threat, uh, it was very good. So stop by, say hi to them, and um, get some caffeine. Attended dinner on Depot. I want to thank uh, Morgan and Perry Law for having an extra spot at their table and inviting, inviting me to, to join them. Uh, I also was able to um, bid and win uh, <laughs> a, uh, a painting of a historic uh, building in town, the Verena Supply Building. So I'm excited to have that. Um, and then we have Coffee with a Cop coming up. I attended last last month. Um, this month it's going to be at Starbucks on July 5th. It's always the first Tuesday of the month. The location changes, the date doesn't change. Um, so mark your calendar. But this, this one will be at Starbucks on July 5th. So come on out um, and grab some coffee and um, meet our new chief and some of our other awesome men and women of the police department. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, I think it's interesting also as reading the, uh, about in my paper. No, about both uh, <laughs> drinks is, is that they partner with uh, 321 Coffee, which is at uh, our farmer's market, who uh, employs people with disabilities um, at their location. So that's just an amazing partnership that they have to provide the coffee from that. So that's, that's very, that's, that's, you know, that says a lot about their, about the business as well. You're right, and we love it, especially when our local businesses can come together, work together, and collaborate on new business ventures and, and programs in our community. So that's, that's really great. That's right. Thank you. Mayor Pro Tim Smith, any comments? They've said it about all. I thought I'd gotten the bold coffee one, but Commissioner Watson got me on that. And we did attend that <laughs> along with Commissioner Gardner. Uh, it was a great event. And I, 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 too, like Commissioner Watson, love to go to these ribbon cuttings and see how many small businesses are opening up in Fuquay. Um, that's kind of the fabric of our community. You go in, meet the people, come back, uh, enjoy their services. I like coffee, so it's just another place for me to stop in in the mornings and grab a cup of coffee. But I do like those places. It's just they, they become part of our, they become our friends. They become our community when they come, and I enjoy that. Uh, other than that, y'all have covered everything, all the great events we've had, so I'm not going to belabor the point any longer. I did miss the last coffee with the cop chief. Believe it or not, I was actually working, and I know that shocks everybody at this table, but <laughs> I had some work to do that morning, but I'll try not to let that happen again anytime soon to be working. So uh, anyway, that's all I've got, and uh turn it back over to you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for your comments.
Mr. Manager, you have yeah, something you want to say? I just want to mention one thing. I know that um, I've heard sort of this theme of, of small business in the last several meetings and uh, again here tonight, and <clears throat> we pay attention over here in the, at mm -hmm. Manager's Row here. And so one of the things that we are working on, uh, our Economic Development Director, Tiffany McNeil, is working to plan a small business expo at our um, community center this fall to give our small businesses an opportunity to showcase themselves the community to come through and and visit and learn more about our small businesses so she's working on planning an, an event in the fall and we'll certainly let you the, the board know when we have a date set and we have more details about it but we are even though we are not uh, directly responsible for sort of recruiting small business to the town our economic development department really focuses more on the the larger uh, business entities, we do value our small businesses and want to encourage their continued growth in our community. And this is one way we can help to do that and showcase them. So that'll be an event coming up this fall. Be a great event. I'm sure everybody here wants to attend it and support it too. So thank you for working on that. Uh, a couple appointments I'm going before my comments I'll be making, or I have, I have made. Uh, first appointment, or two, both of these appointments are to, to the Parks and Rec Advisory Board. First appointment is a ETJ appointment. Uh, to Sheree Ward, term ending December 31st, 2023. She lives in the, uh, she's an ETJ member. She lives in the Crooked Creek subdivision and a retired communications uh, office with Wake Tech is where she, her background is. And she has been heavily involved with, uh, with encouraging the county to purchase that, uh, the old golf course as a park and then encouraging Wake County to donate it back to Pequay Verena. So she's familiar familiar with it, and um, but she also understands future park needs across our town and involved in other park facilities and what all parks can have. So she's not uh, be going to be focused on one location nor single minded, but open to all uh, all parks and well diverse with that in Fuqua Verena. So I know she will do a great job. Um, second e is another ETJ appointment term ending December thirty first, twenty twenty four. Amber Williams. She has lived in a. Fuqua Verena, pretty, born and raised in Fuqua Verena. In fact, when I was a little kid, we played on co-ed soccer teams together, which is uh, it's funny to see the whole world, which was, um, Williams is her married name now, um, seeing the world come, come full circle back around on that. And uh, she's coached sports for the team, been a mentor for kids, and been involved with many of our different parts. She's also is a, involved with our Spanish-speaking community, so I think that helps bring another avenue to our Parks and Recreational Board. Um, as we know, our community is growing and, ha and has different offerings, and She's coached uh, soccer, basketball, and uh, baseball out there often, along with other sports. And I know she'll be involved. And many of y'all on this board know her, know both these individuals, and they both will do a great job here in uh, Pequa Verena. So I'll just bring that to you as a report back to the uh, board tonight on those two appointments. Um, Pequa Verena High School graduation happened uh, recently. That was mentioned a few moments ago. Willow Springs is our second high school. As y'all know, Willow Springs High School is located in our corporate limits, and so they have will have graduations in two years. They have, they're building the school freshmen, sophomores, junior class this year, and so they rise in the following year will be seniors graduating at that point. And so it's pretty neat to have that and see the, see the kids. You would be proud to know that Fuqua Verena High School kids behave much better than some of the other high school kids walking across the stage on graduation day. But they, uh, they did a great job, and it was, it was great being on stage with them at that time. This coming week on Thursday at um, June, Thursday, June 25th, 23rd at 3 o'clock. InServe is a company located off Dickens Road in Fuqua Marina, and they're being recognized by the Department of Labor for um, safety. And, and the commissioner of the Department of Labor will be there, and I'll be there there. And I want to extend the invitation to anybody on the board that would like to attend also at the same time and meet the um, commissioner of the Department of Labor or, um, and congratulate the business there. It's on 3 o'clock Thursday. Just let me know that day or such if you're going that way I'll make sure to uh, look for you there make sure you get to meet the meet the commissioner and recognize um, this company that's been in our town for for a long time um, as we're recognizing people I don't know if Maureen is still in here she stepped out earlier but Maureen has graduated Maureen has graduated UNC School of Government Municipal Administration program and as you know on this board we have encouraged staff over the years different members to partake in that and so she was recognized last week for graduating that and so very proud of Maureen for that, and you'll see her at the, at the next meeting um, in here. Uh, I was proud and honored to be able to, ha to do a Juneteenth proclamation, and um, that was done via um, 
this past weekend, as, as y'all are aware. And so that was a, uh, a proclamation I was excited to be able to make right there and a very important proclamation also. And um, I think we'll be having a lot of conversations with the in the future about how the uh, how this will be recognized and events to be done in the future. And this year was a great job and more to come in regards with it and um, conversations that st that management I've had and, and, and this whole board will be having. So um, thank y'all for uh, for being involved with that too. At the same time, I was glad to be able to make the proclamation. Um, we have no other further business tonight in open session. We do have a closed session for some items to discuss tonight. And um, I entertain a motion to uh, move into closed session. It's pursuant, Mr. Mayor, to North Carolina General Statute 143-318-11A3, attorney-client privilege, A5 contracts, and A6 personnel. So moved. We got a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Motion and second. All in favor say aye. 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 All right. Motion carries. Um,